So as of last episode, I spun the wheel and I can only use this gun from now on until at least I can repair another weapon. So we're just going to have to deal with it for now. And of course, there is no good quest going on. Oh, well, I can do raid the enemy, actually. But uh, yeah, I'm not giving that guy my match locks. I don't have a ton of them. And this right here is another reason why we need the gunsmithing toolkit already, because I don't have a ton of ammo and I'm going to be swapping guns like crazy whenever I have to repair them. Yeah, I didn't think shotgun ammunition was that expensive, but I literally don't have the money for it anyway so i just wanted to see real quick how much did that <laughs> 3.99 you know what here you can have it buddy yeah we're just gonna have to go earn some money and hopefully not miss a single shot at all i need to deliver the package to oh yeah it's wild territory we can make it over there yeah yeah, yeah. actually that'd be a good idea let's get some money for killing these duty soldiers over here and then after i do that we can buy some ammo and head out in other news i need a new gpu basically um in certain games the gpu just like straight up dies and yeah i've tried like reverting to a different driver i've tried ddu-ing i've tested stuff and like it seems in certain games the screen gets all rainbow colored which means my memory on my gpu is dying which is not exactly what i wanted to hear especially considering you know i'm broke after having to pay the down payment on like the car and everything like that for getting it repaired and like the car rental and everything so like i'm actually like broke broke so um where's this duty soldier is there he should be right here um okay i was gonna like try to get really close so that i can you know shoot one bullet and be done with this but i don't even see anyone all right i'm up here and I still don't see this duty soldier. Where in the world is he? I think this guy left us, man. I, I don't see him anywhere. I assumed that maybe he'd be down this way because obviously the fire is lit. So he lit the fire. And then I guess he just ran away. Uh, yeah, that's flesh. And he's not here, but there is a dead flesh here. Um okay then i don't know where he is ah you're right the red mark on my pda that should show where he is let's see oh my god he is all the way up there that's not even considered the same area game all right there he is he's an expert i wonder how close i can get to him if i just sneak and he's not facing this way so let's try to get as close as possible i do not want to waste ammo all right this should be close enough ready set boom what what you're kidding you're kidding nope <laughs> you're kidding me and this is exactly why sometimes i miss efp because an efp that shot to the head would have been the end of him no matter what he would have died and there was no contest to that he would be dead and shit he's facing this way now i assumed he would be back to facing the other way i was gonna load some ap Jesus, three shots to the head? Really? Also, I love that one guy is considered a raid the enemy. Hopefully they give me enough money to buy some more ammo because I'm gonna need a ton of slugs because it looks like it requires many, many headshots just to kill someone with this gun, which is really unfortunate. All right, let's try not to get like super weighed down like we did last episode because that was a pain in the ass trying to go from area to area with like super low stamina. Hey, Lukas, and uh, job is done. 8,500 in a red forest stash. That's actually really nice. That's a lot more than I expected him to give me. And unfortunately, it's another white stash, though. Hopefully, we'll get some yellows. That way, by the time we get up there, we'll be able to maybe get some expert tools. There's also a white stash over here, so might as well grab that while I'm over here. I think that's the one that's on top of the roof, though. I think this looks good. Yeah, just going to go ahead and spend all that. And just making sure, yeah, I've got medical supplies. And yeah, this is the white stash that's on top of the roof right here. I actually have no idea how you're supposed to get there without the ledge grabbing mod. But uh, yeah, I just do this. And just get off here. Oh, I think I see right there. You're supposed to jump up right here. Okay, okay. But our... Oh! Oh! 
Okay, okay, okay. Another ecologist suit. You know what? That's good. And a ramrod. I would have really needed that last episode game. You could have given it to me when I actually needed it. The fact that I didn't have a ramrod is why this MP is at 86 durability for the barrel. I could like do the maintain with this type C I have, honestly. Oh, dude, that's probably going to be a better idea here. Just go ahead and clean the barrel, whatever. All right, we do have a quest to turn in here and some mutants to kill here. So it's probably a good idea just to head over there and do those two quests and then go to Yantar. I was going to go straight to Yantar and then to Wild Territory, but this makes more sense. And I'll just load this with Buckshot because I'm assuming I'm going to run into more mutants than I am humans. I wasn't sure whether I wanted to like stream tonight or not, but I, you know, so far I've been like streaming and recording every like two days and it's been two days. So I was like, yeah, I should just go ahead and do it. Honestly, the one complaint I have with the shotgun beside it, you know, not killing a guy with one headshot is the fact that it only has five bullets. Like that is really going to be tough for me, especially in gunfights with multiple enemies. I'm going to have to learn to control my ADHD and take it slow and for the record i don't think controlling my adhd is actually a possibility all right since we're over here in this little area ooh, deliver the package to wild territory i'm already going there dude thank you actually that's great i wonder if it's the same person i've gotten that before where they want me to deliver to the exact same person is it no okay it's not there's a, a guy in the sniper nest gotcha all right dead city let's go please don't be too many bad mutants at that mutant spot that i need to do i still wish that i could uh do this objective right over here but it's in inside that building with the side field so it's impossible for me to do right now and it might be impossible for me to do later because i don't remember ever having so much psi resistance that i could just run straight in there i think i can use a scar if i pick up any uh scars but i haven't seen one yet but then again i haven't really gone out of my way to get artifacts yet either so it's still possible hey dude job is done there we go 76.50 that's quite good anything else going on here the answer is uh wait what was that it was radiation patches sure buddy another radiation patch geez and he wants 19 all 19 of the ones i have this guy wants all the vodka i have you know what sure hey buddy what do you want a <laughs> he gave me a freaking wretched and he gave me a yantar stash jesus christ dude why would you do such thing all right here brother let me give you some vodka of course you needed some and give me a dead city stash please do not be inside oh wait it's right behind me it's right here i was gonna say don't be inside the sci field but this is fine we've actually already gotten this stash before earlier and some bandit outfit well at least we got a energy drink in other news we'll kill those mutants on our way out i don't think it's really smart to like kill them run back and then keep going it'd probably be better to just go ahead and kill them over here and then move on to Yantar. And I keep re-watching that Stalker 2 trailer and just seeing Truck Cemetery is just like, oh my god, dude. It's so nice. I feel like between the last trailer and the new trailer, they really have upped like what the game graphics looks like because the last trailer, I think it was the Bolts and Bullets uh, trailer, you know there were some really rough edges and like low looking you know texture resolutions but now everything looks so freaking good and you know even if my gp wasn't fucked right now i'd be really concerned i'd be really concerned because i don't think i don't think i don't think i would have a good enough computer for it oh no oh no oh no i'm dead No, I'm dead. Goodbye. Goodbye, cruel world. You know, this is why I don't ask the game for anything. You might remember that I literally asked, like, hey, game, would you mind giving me not a bad mutant? And what did it do? It gave me a freaking bad mutant. All right, let's see if we can see him from far away. That way we can kind of, like, uh, snipe him with slugs. And the answer is I'm blind. Is that him up there? Yeah, that's him up there. Wow, he's uh, really far away. I think it would be better to get up to this house, maybe and shoot him from like the side of the house run back over here nope you can't hit me ah shit i can't see him yeah this is the issue with uh vegetation you know i can't see him there he is.
There we go. That killed him. Nice, nice, nice. That used a lot more ammo than I was hoping to use, but it's fine because, oh, we actually got a scalp for once. That is very rare. But hey, that's 10% psychic res. Maybe I can use it later to get that stash. All right, let's hurry up and get to Yantar so we can get rid of this freaking artifact. It's baking me alive. All right, let's hurry up, get to that bunker and sell this shit. I don't even think he's going to give me that much for it, but hey, it's early game. Any money's good money. Hey, buddy, can, can you come over here? Wow, he actually died in one hit. I'm kind of amazed. Is it just me or is this knife getting destroyed like really quickly? I feel like I'm not skinning a whole lot and it's getting destroyed really fast. Uh, well, that's a lot of animals, but uh, we should be fine. And the cat's in my lap. Could you uh, maybe uh, get down, sweetie? I love you, but right now I'm doing things. Actually, you know what, cat? If you sit down, I will let you stay. No sniffing the microphone. The microphone's not yours. All right, quick, quick, quick. I'm starting to cough. Bakarov, hurry up. Hurry up. You can walk faster yeah. than that, buddy. All right, there we go. And uh, let us... Wait, can I... I can't even sell it to him? Oh, too damaged to be traded. Oh, my God. What was the point? What was the freaking point? Well, that was extremely unfortunate, but uh, hey, I guess uh, we got over here and I can check if there's any quests. Uh, deliver the package to Dark Valley. Man, they just really want me to deliver a shit ton of packages, don't they? Recover the tracking device from Agroprom. That is a bad idea because there's military there and there's a bunch of loners there. You know, there's like no good reason for me to be there. Uh, but I kind of have to go there anyways for like Strelok and stuff. All right, let's accept it. If I didn't need to go to Strelok's hideout, then I wouldn't worry about it, but I kind of do. All right, well, I see that we have a yellow stash right there, which means I've got to go there. Let's go. Now, are we taking bets on how good slash bad of an idea this is going to be? My guess is that we're going to run into another controller and a few snorks. If we don't run into any of that, then I will be extremely happy, but also extremely surprised. All right, well, the yellow stash i think is on top of the crane no wait yeah i think it is and there's also nothing here which kind of concerns me but we're just gonna take it at face value and say it's a good thing yeah it's definitely on top of the crane all right there we go come on crouch walk be very careful do not fall do not fall uh i did not mean to grab that but that's fine because now we can get this and basic tools I guess that's cool. I don't really need it, but I guess that's cool. And then try to go. Oh, yep, I can never go down ladders. I don't know what is wrong with me in this game, but I have almost never successfully gone down ladders. And it destroyed my legs, which is, you know, just great. Pretty sure, yeah, I can just take one of these, which is all that matters. I just hate hate how slow you get even though your leg is barely damaged like seriously who thought it was a good idea to cut your movement speed by like a huge amount even though you've only taken like three percent damage to your legs huh who thought that was a good idea all right we're gonna come down here get this guy some tools and then we'll be leaving i think these are my only advanced tools if i remember yeah 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 yeah. i already given away my spare advanced tools so let me not give him the advanced any work you do i do it and basic tools there you go so that's some good money and then i've got an encrypted pda so might as well see what's on it all right give me a stash please and no i should honestly sit next to a fire and regen a little bit of my hp but uh whoever said i make good decisions right i mean as long as we don't run into like a random ass loner that will pop me in the head we should be good to make it to the construction site where there will be more mercs so all right the sun is slowly starting to go down so let's hurry up and deliver these packages before any mutants can kill our boys which might already happen let's see i need to kill a bum wait what oh no okay well these two guys are probably fine where they are but uh i'm concerned about who this guy wants me to kill to considering they're inside the burner anomaly area um let's see those are a bunch of loners well shit am i gonna have to like run through there and shoot at the same time uh or can i snipe them from here All right, one dude's down. Just gonna go ahead and reload while they're not looking at me. Yep, nope, can't hit me, can't hit me. Got him. There's that other one. Go ahead and reload. I'm just gonna reload literally whenever I know they can't see me because that's probably uh, the best time to do it.
There we go. Got all three of them. Nice. All right. Let me, because I don't want to die after I just spend all that time doing this. So, uh, yeah, let's be a little bit careful. Let's wait for, all right, wait for this. And then we can run. Now we just quickly grab. I'm not even going to pay attention to what they have. I'm just going to grab it as fast as possible. So this guy right here, grab that. And then uh, the, the last guy was, uh, wait, oh, shit. I didn't mean to get hit. Here's the last guy. Um, is there anything right here? Okay, we can reach it. There we go. Oh, wait, he had a good barrel. Oh, shit. No, no, I died. Okay, that 100% was my fault, you know? I saw that it had a green barrel, and I really didn't want to leave it behind, but that ended up being my death. So I can try something different maybe this time. I have a grenade. I could just throw a grenade once they sit down around that fire. Yeah, I mean, I could throw a grenade. I just wish they got hit by a anomalies you know like they're just sitting there and that fires on top of them how is that fair man i die when the fire sits on top of me but for them they're fine you know maybe i should really repair that ecologist suit sometime soon that way i can have you know like some clothing that's friendly there you go that went off i don't know if it hit anyone it did i think i see someone's dead body right there yes i just shot a dead body for no reason Oh, did he really duck underneath my bullet? There you go, got him. Oh my god. Wait, is he down? He's down, he's down. Alright, let's try this one more time and let me make sure to run at him with a, a knife. Come on, buddy. Come on, flame. All right. Uh, 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 let me hit your feetsy. There you go. I hit his feetsy, and I'll take that. Oh, oh, no, he got up. Oh, all right. I was not expecting him to. Oh, that hurt. That hurt. I was not expecting that. But, uh, yeah, we got a Mosin with a good barrel, so I'm keeping that, I guess. We'll see if we can repair it later, but it'd probably be in our best interest real quick to actually heal. Oh, okay. Wait. Wait, there's one of our Merc guys here. How did he not see the loners? Because the loners went down that way from up here. Come on, dude. You're not doing a really good job guarding your post. Is there anything he wants? He wants a controller brain tissue. You know what? Sure, buddy. I'll just give it to you. Who gives a shit? How much you give me? Ooh, 8250. I'm actually kind of glad I gave it to him. I was not expecting that much. By the way, every time I've come here, for some reason, this area back here has been radioactive. Is it still radioactive? Yeah, it is. Wait, why is it so radioactive? I don't understand that. Look at how radioactive that is. That's insane. Keep in mind i accident i took like a ton of radiation medicine too i know it doesn't stack but i'm just saying like what what is that that is uh let's see that is eight percent radiation resistance and it still went up that quickly that's crazy all right so let's just go ahead and make our deliveries the first one is on top of this construction site so let's get up there swap over to buckshot because we're more likely to run into mutants now hello brother protecting us from the disgusting duty here you go have that you gave me some beer cool all right now there's just one more dude we need to pop our head over and see now technically i could go over this way and through this right side what do you what are we shooting at guy what wait whoa whoa are, am i getting shot at no he's not shooting then who's shooting um, okay. I don't know who shoot it. Oh, well, I hear something fun. There we go. What I was going to say is I can go through here, but more than likely it's super radioactive. Every time I've come in here, it's been super radioactive. Oh, well, just a little bit. Is it really just a Wait, why can't I move? Hello? Hello? Is, is there a... Wait, why is there a barrier here? Wait, what? Wait. That made no sense. All right, whatever. All right, let's get through here real quick. Huh, it's really not that radioactive through here. That is uh, a big surprise. This might be the first time. Wait. Wait. There we go. Okay, I was so confused. I was like, I've never seen that there before. Most likely because it's always been destroyed. Yeah, you guys see anything out there? No? I probably shouldn't be standing in front of your gun anyways, but uh, yeah. Hey, buddy, got something for you, 3150 and some vodka. They really love giving me vodka. I guess they assume everyone who's been traveling wants a nice cold uh, vodka or a nice hot vodka more accurately. I doubt it would be cold because what I was going to suggest we do is we could go down and do the uh, Sherlock's hideout real quick. But I do not think 
you know, 19 rounds of buckshot and 35 of slug is going to be enough to uh, kill all the bandits in there, plus take out whatever else is in there. I hear them shooting a lot over here. I wonder what they're shooting at. The only mutant I saw was that bloodsucker, unless there's another one nearby. There might be, but I didn't hear. Oh, 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 well, that's great. Yeah, that's great. Can you guys kill it, please? Oh, nice. Wow. You know? You know, you, you know, you can stop shooting. Jesus Christ. You know, I've noticed that uh, NPCs in this game, they really don't start stop shooting, dude. Once they start, they will never stop. Actually, I just realized the better idea. What am I talking about? I was talking about going to Yantar. No, let's go to garbage because we can buy some ammo from the train hangar. Plus, we can... Oh, but he, does he sell slugs? He might. And plus, we can get the uh, yellow sash. Now, the real question is going to be, has the train hangar been repopulated with anyone? And if so, who? I am okay with like a loner or two. I am not okay with an expert duty soldier. All right, what's our bets here? Is there going to be a loner right here? No. Uh, but there is one right there. Wow, did that actually one-shot him? That is uh, a miracle. So far, it's cost a lot more than one bullet to kill these guys. I hear I hear a dude running. I think he's on the, the right side of this. No, no, no. Got him. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, dude, there's a lot more guys here than I thought. Oh, sh... God. Also, I accidentally shot our freaking clear sky, dude. Oh, no. Where the fuck did this guy go? Oh. Got him? Crap, I almost, I, I like accidentally shot our clear sky guy, but he doesn't seem to give a shit. Yeah, there he is. Oh, where, where, where is he? Where is he? He was up, he was in there, right? Here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna back off. I'm gonna pop one of these med kits real quick. Where, where is he? Hello? Is he back there? Wait, I thought he was in here. Huh? Here's the issue. I don't want him to pop out of nowhere while I'm like in the middle of shopping. So it's probably a good idea to just find out where he is and kill him. Now, now, how much you want to bet what's going to happen is I'm going to be shopping and he's going to pop up out of nowhere. Yep, I give up at this point. I'm just going to go ahead and buy some ammo. Go get that. Oh! Oh, oh my god! Okay, buddy, you scared me and I can't reach your dead body. Come on, you made me waste ammo and I can't get you. Oh my god, dude. That actually... That is not the first time, by the way, that that has happened. And that literally jump scared me. Even though I've had that happen before. Like, I've literally seen that happen before. And it is definitely unfortunate. But yeah, I don't think there's any way to get his body. Because as far as I know, I've never been able to, like, glitch back here before. And I'm not a magical NPC that can just walk through this door. So, uh, yeah, let's just go get that yellow stash. Help me. I hear something. I knew I heard something running towards me. I was like, oh, no, dude. I'm just going to get up here because this is where my uh, stash is. Well, technically, no. My stash is down there. Okay. Uh. Yeah. Let, let me kill you guys. Oh. One just killed itself. Other one come to me. There you go. All right, let's see what's in this. And wow, um, three guns and a Mossberg. Now I that something. is very interesting. We also got a generator, which I could care less about. Didn't we already get a drug making kit? So that's a good thing. I can definitely give that to our medic boy. But yeah, I think the best idea with this is just to disassemble the Mossberg and grab that uh, barrel. Okay, my dude is hungry, and this is literally the only food I have. So, uh, yeah, I guess we're just going to have to tell my guy to suck it up and hold in his hunger. I'll eat whenever the uh, hunger turns into a yellow. All right, now let's get to Agroprom and try to do Strelok's hideout. Now, in all likelihood, I'm going to fail to do it because we're probably going to have to waste ammo on the guys who are outside the hideout. So, we'll see how this goes. We do have, what, one grenade? Uh, no, we have four grenades. Okay, never mind. We might be fine. All right, let's see how this goes. My hope is that there's only maybe like two, three loners over here. I mean, most of the time there's like ecologists here. And so I just have to hope that it's just ecologists, which is unlikely. And that's the sound of flesh, I think. No, it's boars. 
but they don't see me, right? All right, uh, please be ecologist to call. I no, I hear someone here. No, clear sky, clear sky, clear sky. Okay, so far so good. Deliver the package to Gordon. Uh, sorry, I won't do that. Clear the research area, bandit. <laughs> sorry, buddies, I can't do that, but I can give you some renegade faction patches. Because for some reason, I've run into a million renegades. There you go, buddy. He gave me a stone blood. What is with you guys and giving me artifacts? Like, seriously. That is, like, the worst thing. I don't need this. And the worst part is, it's too damaged to sell. In other words, I'm just going to drop it. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I see someone running. I see someone running. I think one of them's a loner. No? Oh, no. They're all freaking out about uh, mutants. Okay. I thought one of them was a loner. All right. This is a bad decision, but whatever. Let's hop down. All right, time for some fun. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Throwing Granada. Oh, wait, wait, I'm stupid. They're my allies. They're my allies. No, 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 no. I forgot I'm a bandit. I'm a bandit. What am I doing? What am I doing? My poor brothers. No. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, 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 he should. I, I, okay, they weren't shooting at me for a second. Now they are. I am so sorry to get these guys, like, seriously. Oh, I'm dead. Okay, well, that saves me some killing to do. All right, I legitimately do apologize to the bandits. You guys have to remember, every single time I've ever come here, I've killed bandits because they have always been my enemies. This is the only time I think I've come here and they haven't been my enemies. I guess this technically makes my time down here a lot easier, you know, because I don't have anyone to kill. So that's cool. In other news, I can't find the batteries because I am blind. I know they're here somewhere. I think they're, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was gonna say, I think they're like higher up. What's gonna be here? This is a blood sucker probably. There you go, one shot. Is there not another one? Sometimes I've come down here and there's been two. Well, I hear stuff getting thrown, so I think I know what it is. Yep. I mean, you can throw stuff all you want, buddy. Oh. Oh, hi. Come on, stop your little shit. There you go. But yeah, this is the early game where you destroy literally every box because you never know what could be inside of it. Come on, up the ladder we go. Squeeze in here and we can go ahead and grab the military documents, which we're not gonna need. Notebook, get everything else we can get. Ooh, protein bar, that's actually great. There we go. Now I'm not hungry anymore. I mean, I say we don't need uh, the military notes, but technically we could give it to the military. We just need to disguise as an ally, which we can do because we do have ecologist clothing. We just need to repair it up. By the way, for those who are watching that don't understand the disguise system, basically you need to have like the armor almost fully repaired and you need to be wearing a weapon that matches that faction or putting it away like this. Otherwise your detection meter will go up and they will know who you are. Yep. Oh shit, I missed. Come on. There we go. Yeah, there's almost always another mutant going back, which is why I understand some people don't like going back this way. I typically like going back this way because I can just pop out right up here pretty easily. Well, as I said, that was definitely a lot, lot easier than I was expecting it to be. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get this tracking device, I guess, so we can give it to the dude here in Nyantar while we're going back up. All right, let's try our best to avoid the sight of the military. I mean, they can't see us from this far back anyway, so we should be good. I'm just wondering what has this tracking device uh, over here. The issue with the tracking device quests, like, sometimes I've had the mutants just, like, go out of bounds or go to areas that I can't get to, and therefore I can't get the tracking device. So let's hope this is not another one of those cases, because it happens a lot with mutants that are over here in this area. Like, a lot. More than likely, it's like a boar or something that traveled a bit away from uh, its home, so it might be something up here. No? 
Yeah, and this right here is why I don't really like these tracking device quests because this mutant could be literally anywhere at this point. I'll do one more quick search of the area over here, but for the most part, I think we're not going to find it. I will check right in this little area right here because sometimes the mutants come over this way. I just don't want to get too close to where the military might see me but yeah i'm not hearing anything normally by now i'd hear a mutant i know that if you leave the zone and then come back to the area sometimes it'll like reload the mutant but eh, it's not worth it what wait i'm hearing a poltergeist i think oh is it yeah there's one like all the way over there i am amazed that i can hear that from here i was not expecting to be able to hear that little weeping from all the way over here all right i should be close enough to the ecologist to see if there's anything new here uh deliver package to an ecologist in rostock that is hilarious you are actually the funniest man i think i've ever met like i get technically you know those quests are fine because yeah oh my god the amount of radiation that is right there holy shit. uh what i was gonna say is those quests are fine because yes if i were in a disguise i could go deliver the package but it's unlikely that i would want to honestly most people they kind of turn down the disguise settings in this game because the default settings are actually really really brutal like if you stand next to a guy for just like a few seconds or you accidentally pull your gun out like sometimes they'll just immediately aggro on you hey brother would you like to give me some good money he gave me 3450 and a lamont's stash well that could be good maybe i think lamont's can give you expert tools assuming you get a yellow and i did get a yellow wow all the way up here at the construction site that's actually great so when we go to lamonsk i mean i think that's a chance of an expert tools or at least i'm pretty sure can you guys like move out my way holy shit there are so many mercs here and i like can't get past them way too many people all right uh, here we go i've been following the stalker named strelock i can manage this fine doesn't yep all right cool we still have to talk to gatekeeper okay that's interesting i was wondering whether or not we would still talk to gatekeeper because i'm pretty sure gatekeeper is considered a loner and i wasn't so sure about that dude wants a singular cattail how much you guys want to bet he's going to give me a shitty artifact that i can't do anything with all right is it shitty artifact time and no 1300 wow that's actually great that's way more money than i thought he was going to give me also i just realized i have three companions now uh what did I accept that gave me three companions? The Living Legend quest line? Okay, never mind. It's mutant hunting. I was so confused. I was like, why in the world would they give me companions for Living Legend? I don't remember them ever doing that, but I thought, hey, maybe it's like a Merc exclusive thing, you know? That's always a possibility, right? I still love it when it rains, like seeing the uh, water fill in the kind of like cracks in the uh, road and everything like that. It looks so nice. I love it. All right, let's get this mutant out of the way since apparently it's giving me three companions and i would like to keep my use of companions to a minimum this playthrough considering i abuse them quite a lot in my gamma and efp playthrough though the efp one made more sense because i was doing warfare but at least during gamma this time i'd prefer to only have maybe one companion max oh shit oh guys help me you assholes i'm dead i'm dead i'm dead i'm dead so this time i'm just gonna like peek around the corner maybe and like get a little bit of aggro all right chimera hello hello there it is there it is there it is bro it's like juking me it's juking me oh crap i didn't <laughs> i didn't notice it go around oh my god Oh my god, that actually, I'm not even kidding you, that is the second jump scare this stream. Because I was looking over this way, I was not expecting it to wrap all the way around to get me. Oh my god. <sighs> Anyways, thank you. Alright, buddy, job is done. Thanks for the money. 4250 for killing a chimera, honestly, is not that much money. Jesus, dude. I can't believe this game has, like, jump scared me multiple times now. It's like, how dare you? How freaking dare you, game? If I can repair one more weapon, more than likely next stream, I will definitely do Miracle Machine because I want to get that out of the way. Plus, Miracle Machine at this point is just so easy. You know, we've all done it a million times. And no, I haven't gotten gunsmithing tools yet. I wish I had gotten some, but still no dice, unfortunately. Which is a super big shame because that is what is consuming a majority of my income right now. Basically, all the money I get, I immediately have to spend it on more ammo right if i could just get gunsmithing tools and because like shotgun ammo is really cheap to craft right 
So if I could just craft a shit ton of shotgun ammo, dude, I'd be I'd be rolling right now. But nope, I gotta spend all my money on freaking ammo. You know, I saw that fire on down there, and I just kind of assumed like a merc or an ecologist ran down there and turned it on. I didn't think there was gonna be a loner down there, but uh, yeah, let's uh, let's give him a, a quick surprise. Now, I could sneak, but that would require me to uh, not be wait. Oh, I thought they were inside. Uh, my arm is like really shaky. No way, it was just one guy. It was one guy, really? I don't get what's with quests in Gamma, you know? Sometimes you get the, one of those quests and you go there and it's like 10 guys, right? And other times you do it and it's just one singular dude who just happens to be next to a fire. Like, how is that guy a threat, really? All right, job's done. 6550, that's good. Starting with this Mosin. Oh my god. Oh no, we can repair the Mosin, I think. Oh no, we can repair the Mosin, guys. That's like good and bad because I might have to be forced to use it. Here's the thing. I love the Mosin, right? I think it's a good gun. Honestly, I really do, but I would not want it to be my only weapon for next episode because this would be my only weapon. And think about the ammo for a second, man. Think about the ammo. All right, let's repair this Mosin and then afterwards we're going to have to spin the wheel and oh, I need a type B weapon repair kit. I forgot about that. Let's see if we can craft one. I need four steel wool for this, and then for this, I need two. Oh, wait, I have enough. Never mind. He has six. Okay, nope, we're good. I can't count. All right, so type B, let's go ahead and craft that, and then we should be having a spray lubricant. So go ahead and grab that. And now, ba -ba -da -ba, we got it. All right, I am going to regret clicking this repair button, I swear to God, but uh, yeah, there we go. It is now fully repaired. Oh, let us spin the wheel. All right, look, I am not looking forward to this. Please, please. Here's the thing. If it says don't, I can still use it, but... Oh, okay. I was going to say, if it says don't, I can still use it, but I don't have to use it only. Sorry, I got that backwards. I meant if I got use it, then I could use it but not forced to use it so don't means i'm not going to use it at all all right so unfortunately even though we put all those parts into the mosin it's just going to sit in the freaking uh storage then so goodbye put the type b in there that's unfortunate that we can't use it but uh that's what it decided so i mean i was down to like use it the only issue would have been the ammo cost because isn't the ammo pretty expensive yeah and this guy doesn't even sell the ammo so i actually would have been kind of in a pickle because i don't have an ammo or i don't have a gunsmithing toolkit and this guy doesn't sell it either so i would have been in kind of a lot of trouble yeah i'll go ahead and check for another gun there's a possibility we might spin again i'm not 100 percent certain though i really don't want to have to use an ak variant or anything like that again and the an94 is quite op but it looks like we might be able to repair that we're only mi actually we're not missing anything we could repair this right now all right we're gonna do it we're gonna do it one more time let's roll it back and for the record yes i do actually have to repair everything before i spin the wheel that is kind of like a semi punishment thing that i'm doing to where like no matter what i'm kind of like punished so that should make resources way more scarce. So let's go ahead and repair it. The only thing that's bad on it is in the barrel. And assuming I spin the wheel and get it, I can just go ahead and repair that. So there we go. The uh, AN-94 is repaired. Now let's spin the wheel again. Honestly, I don't care what it lands on. If it does... Don't, oh my god. I was about to say, if it does don't again, I'm kind of going to be upset. Because that means I still got to use the shotgun. And it goes on don't again. In other words, uh, yeah. This gun is uh, going right back up. Unfortunate. Well, that was definitely the last gun I could repair. Everything else I don't have enough parts for. So, uh, yeah. We're just going to have to move on from that. And deliver locked case to Skinflint from Radar. Do, no, I was going to say, do I accept that? But no, it's going to remove one of his quests from the pool. And it's very unlikely I'm going to be able to get it. But here, let me give this guy the drug making toolkit. We can definitely do that. All right, buddy. Oops, wrong thing. Uh, job is done. Give me some money. It's 5150. That's quite good. Now let's sleep 10 hours until until 10. All right, slept for 10 hours and nice. Once again, very gloomy day out here. I swear this game has no clue how to make it like bright and sunny sometimes, you know? It's just always gloomy. But hey, at least we get to stare at these awesome puddles. Look at that puddle. Oh, look at that puddle. Such a nice puddle. Look at that reflection of the tree right there. Oh, nice. Good screen space reflections. Oh my god, when did I get a tourniquet? I don't know about you guys, but I've literally... Ever since I started playing Gamma forever ago, right? I have not once ever used a tourniquet. Have you used a tourniquet? Because I haven't. 
I've never been, I've never really had one. Like, wh where did I even get this one? Like, I've, as far as I know, I've never picked one up. It's always from uh, vendors, like when you buy it over here to, from this guy. All right, well, let me see real quick if I can actually repair one of these ecologist suits, because that would be very helpful. And I, oh my God, I clicked the wrong button. Oh no, I just like grabbed everything out the chest. That was very bad. What I meant to do instead of clicking alt was click control so I could compare the two suits. And yeah, it looks like that has better electrical, but this one has a uh, better burn res. They both require completely different materials. So it would probably be better to just, you know, grab both of them out and see what parts I have. This one, on the other hand, I actually have quite a lot of good things. The only thing I don't have, actually, I do have that at 70. You know what, this, this one, uh, the white one's probably the best idea. So I do need to check what is required for a medium uh, armor repair kit because I don't think I have one. A glue tube, field armor, and a sewing kit. And we should be able to. No, it's two out of three. I need one more. All right, medium kit has been crafted. 98, 95, 99. And then I don't have any of this, but that puts us at 79%, which is high enough because that means we can just go up the last little bit and there we go it's at 96 percent so we do have basically a fully repaired ecologist suit so now we can technically do quests for everyone and what i mean by that is we can run into an area hopefully don't get caught accept some quests and then run out now the real question is here i'm gonna spin the wheel on this give me a second all right so i thought for fun let's just spin do we go to rostock or do we not and oh I guess we're going to Rostock, boys. All right, since the wheel has spoken, we must go to Rostock. I just need to find a good place to hide where no one can see me so I can swap into this outfit. I mean, up here, like, hey, this is a good spot. I mean, if you think about it, no one can see me right here, right? So let's put it on and see what it says. There we go. Most people will assume I'm a part of the ecologist faction. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. All right, so now we just have to awkwardly run through Rostock and hope that no one realizes that we are most certainly not an ecologist. All right, Flesh, do not attack me for I am on a mission. All right, please don't be too many mutants right here because I don't know if shooting will disrupt my disguise or anything. It looks like I don't I don't see anything, so maybe we're good to just go ahead. All right, let's put our gun away. Okay. Hello, my buddies. We're all friends, so can you walk that? Oh, can you? Can can I squeeze by real quick, just a little bit? Yep. Thank you. I hope you guys are doing well. In another life, we would have been friends, but not this one. Well, so far, so good. Now, normally, the disguise system in this game isn't the best, and so there's typically stragglers, like guys that will just attack you on site for basically no reason. So I'm kind of waiting to see if that happens, because if there's a time for that to happen, it's more than likely when I'm still fresh here. But then again, I'm not seeing a lot of people. I guess because it's my first time here in Rostock, there's not that many dudes around. Well, since we seem like we're in the clear, I might as well check for quests. Deliver a package to military and agro prom, truck cemetery. Uh, we can grab the truck cemetery one, that's fine. Mutants, I will not do bandits. Those are my friends. Army warehouse, I'll do that. Yeah, all these like uh, kill bandit missions, I really don't want to do, so uh, I won't do it. Since everything seems good so far, I'm gonna go down here and talk to Barman so I can get some food. Yeah, definitely there's no one down here because I just came to the zone for the first time because normally there'd be a couple of guys down here, but it's literally completely empty. But hey, there's a chocolate protein bar right there and I'd say that's good enough. All right, give me some more sausage. Is there anything up there? Yeah, there's a vodka. So no way I just like squeeze by this guy and come back here and grab that. Oops, did not mean to pull out my gun. Oh, no, 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 that, I That could have been bad. All right, well, since we technically now have access to unlimited quests, because as an ecologist, we are friends with everyone, that means more than likely in the next episode, I will be running around just doing quest after quest after quest, as many quests as I can do. Matter of fact, I will do so many quests that it will basically just be a episode of a montage of just going around doing quests. But for now, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.